Hi friends, I hope you all are doing great. It's me, Nikki here, and today I wanna share with you some signs that you may be actually making progress in your home, even if you feel like you're not. So let's get started. So friends, I wanna share with you why I think you you may be actually, you know, just progressing well in your home, even if you feel like you're not, you know, you still may be feeling like things are not moving, you're stuck, um, and that may not actually be the case. And so let's talk about some signs that are indicators for you that you really are moving in the right direction with getting your home in order. So friends, the first thing, or the first sign rather, that you may be moving in a positive direction with your home is just that, you know, you're having a more positive outlook in your space. You know, you, an example, you may have been thinking about, I'm over this space, it's not what we need, and I'm, I'm tired of the clutter, I just want to leave and you're thinking about selling your home. And now you may be like, you know what? This home actually is going to work. It has the space we need and we can just make it work. You know, if you have a different outlook on your space, um, then it, you have a more likelihood of moving into the direction of getting it decluttered and getting it organized and arranged and decorated in a way that brings you joy rather than brings you frustration. And another sign that, you know, uh, that you may be moving in the right direction with your home is that you're, you know, you find pieces of joy in the home. So you may have a space that you never did go sit in before and now you're finding that you go sit in your home office or you find that the living room, the family is starting to congregate in the room more. You know, a lot of times we focus on the negative. You know, we need a new roof, we need new furniture, we need all of these things, but we don't take the time to reflect on all the things that we've done in the space and how the things Things we've done have transformed how we live in the space currently. So another thing is to to really speak joy into your home, speak life into your home. A lot of times if you come home and all you are talking about is all of the bad things or the things that you don't like or the frustrations that you have with the space, then that is what you're going to reap. And, and we have all heard that, you know, you want to manifest beauty in your home. You want to manifest um, positive energy in your home. And so that is important that you speak that over your home so that not only your family hears it, so that you hear it. And that truly can change the whole perspective of your space and your energy level in the space. So another thing that you are doing that may be an indicator that you actually are moving in the right direction with your home and making progress is that you are actually making the moves. You are actually working on those projects. You're taking on that linen closet. You're taking on even that garage that is dis, you know, you know, cluttered. So even if the whole house you feel like is just a shambles, which we're going to stop saying shambles, it's just in progress. It's in, 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 in you're in progress of making, um, creating your haven. Even with everything feeling overwhelming, you are still making moves. That's an indicator that you are making progress in your space because of course, you know, we want to take those baby steps. And one thing that I encourage you to do is to journal that because a lot of times when you're looking at the overall picture, are you or you're in it, it's hard for you to truly see what you have done. You know, it's, it's kind of like when I write my, my books, you know, it's a lot of um, information that I'm brain dumping here and just all the stories and the tips and the ideas and I don't see the finished project. All I see is a bunch of stuff and a bunch of words. But in reality, most of the book is often done. It's just about organizing all of the stuff that's complete in a way that makes it digestible and makes it a full book and a finished project. And so that's the same in your home, you know, working on that one drawer and organizing that one drawer, maybe going under the kid's bed and organizing under their kid's bed. You know, overall, if you look at the whole picture, you can't see the progress, but actually the progress is there and you're really closer to your goal with your home than you realize. So one tip to help you be able to really visualize how much progress you're actually making is to journal your, your progress. You know, you can get a simple book and just journal all of the things that you do in your home. And you can even journal and just from the day, like even if you start journaling your day, but including that component of what you did in your home, it gives you a record of what you have 
done. You can also have a simple calendar and each day you have a goal that I'm gonna organize one small thing in my home. I'm going to declutter one small thing in my home and on that calendar, and you can even put it in your command center and just document what you did for that day. Then in one look over a month's time, you can see all of the little projects that you have done. And I always tell my clients a lot of times, if you think about it, if you do one small thing per day, even if it's just go and open a drawer in your kitchen and take three things out to declutter, over a month's time, that's 30 different things that you have tackled, and that's a lot. And then you take it over two months, that's 60, then 90. And so as you look at it in that way, you can see that, you know, really I am making progress in my home. But if you just focus on, I didn't get the whole kitchen decluttered, and you're thinking about that in one thought, it can be overwhelming. So friends, when you're thinking about journaling your home, one thing to think about is my book, The Home Planner. It is a great tool that you can use that really helps you journal in your space. If you paint that wall, it allows you to kind of log that that wall's painted and then put the paint color there. And then this right here keeps track of all the paint colors in your home, keeps track of all your maintenance. When you've done different maintenance things, you have your checklist in here for the variety of things that are in your home. So this, if you're looking for some way to really journal and see all of the accomplishments in your home, this is a great tool to use and I'll definitely link it in the description box below. And on that note, if you're not subscribed to this channel and you're enjoying the content that I'm sharing, I would love to have you as a part of the At Home with Nikki family, so definitely click that subscribe button. And if you liked it, I definitely click that like button. It really helps me out. So another thing that may be showing that you're making progress in your home is that you are learning from your experiences in your home. So if you set up that laundry system and then you find out, well, okay, it doesn't you know, make sense for me to have everyone use the same color towel. So you went out and you bought everyone their own color towels for the linen closet. Well, that's making progress. You feel like, okay, well, the house is still decluttered and the bathroom is still a mess or little Johnny still throws his towel on the floor. But in actuality, you've made a, made progress because now you're able to tell that that's little Johnny's towel on the floor because his towels are red. You've implemented a system that works to help you easily address that with him. And so, you know, when you look at your home in an overall picture and you create a system, you know, that is what's going to give you longevity in your space. And so by each little system that you create, you're making progress in your space. And even when you have a system that you create, um, whether it's, okay, we're gonna load the dishwasher in a day and we're going to empty it at night, if something goes south with that, you're able to then address it and learn from that experience, but it's still moving your home life forward. So I go to say when you're creating those routines and systems in your home, you know, when you figure out things that don't work, it's okay because again, it's moving you forward in your space. You're learning from those experiences in your home so that in the end, you are figuring out what works, which means you are progressing in your space, in your home. And friends, although you're making progress in your home, if you ever feel like you're still stuck, a great tip is to really help someone else. I find that when you're going through a tough time in life or in your home, if you help someone else, it takes away your thought process of your problems in your space. So for example, if you have that friend, help her declutter her garage or help her declutter a room in her space because by going over there and helping her, even though you need to be home decluttering your own space, you're creating motivation to then go to your house and do the same thing that you did with her. And you're inspired because you've actually um, t taken the focus off of your home and put it in someone else's space to help them out of a situation that you know how they feel having clutter in their space from your experience. So by helping someone else, it gives you a sense of accomplishment and a sense of motivation to get back to your space and really work through it. And friends, the other thing is to keep moving forward. You know, even if you feel like, okay, we don't have the budget to um, paint the walls or, you know, we don't have the time to declutter the bedroom. It's about doing small things. So just keep moving, don't stop. So every day, you know, move forward in some way in your space and that progress will keep coming along. So if you implement those things that I shared, such as journaling your pro, you know, your process, you'll see it physically. If you're a visual person, you'll be able to see the process. It's kind of like when you um, pray. You know how you pray all the time, you pray all the time, and you then you may be thinking, well, Lord, do you answer my prayers? But then if you journal, and we've talked about this before, but if you journal um, kind of what 
or your prayer request, and then you go back and you check off the prayers that were answered, you see how many things were answered and it's just an amazing thing to see. It's an amazing visual tool. And that's the same thing in your home, you know, write down a list of all the things as you do them and as you check them off that they're done, it's amazing to see actually what you have done. So friends, I want you to feel encouraged in your home. I want you to know that even if you're making small strides in your space, they're really big ones, and that you are really making progress in your space, even if you don't see this beautifully organized home right now, if you use the tips that I shared with you today of just keep moving and journaling, um, you know, kind of what you're doing and looking at that, you will see in the end that your space is going to come together, my friend. So I hope these tips have helped. I will see you at the next video. And this is Nikki saying goodbye.